and Paul, he actually clearly defines what giving is all about. And when I kind of looked at this verse about uh, giving, to me, it, it all of a sudden made sense. All right, this is how I'm going to navigate this choice. So in 2 Corinthians 8, 7 through 11, Paul has this long discussion about giving, and he points out, and he really defines giving in three primary ways. So let me read the verse, and then we'll go over it. As you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all earnestness, and in our love for you, see that you excel in giving, which is an act of grace. I say this not as a command, but to prove by the earnestness of others that your love also is genuine. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you by his poverty might become rich. And in this matter I give my judgment. This benefits you, who a year ago started not only to do this work, but also to desire to do it. So now finish doing it as well. So the first thing he says about giving, so there's three things he says about giving that I want to point out that are not necessarily, um, you wouldn't expect. The first thing he says that giving, he says, is clearly not a command. But what does he say it was? He says it's an act of something, of grace. So when you give, if you feel like you're being commanded to give, you're not understanding giving. It's grace. This is an act that should be grace. And it's grace because of the next point that Paul says. He says that this proves that your love is genuine, and then he shows that it's a response to what Christ did. Because Christ himself gave, so that through his riches, his poverty, you might become rich. So basically what's happening, when you give, you're imitating Christ, and you're continuing his action, and then um, that is uh, letting you experience grace anew. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's completing grace in your life. And for this very reason, uh, at the very end, Paul says, this benefits you. Because if you experience grace, um, like I did at a hospital bed, I was sitting there, I felt loved, I felt this incredible favor, for, and it had nothing to do with what I did. I'm going to forget about that grace as life goes on, and then I'm going to start proving my love to God and trying to earn it. But then when I give, I engage right back into that grace again because I realize the cross of Christ in a unique way that benefits me. So, so giving defined this way uh, gives me an overwhelming sense that, all right, here's what I need to do. Here's what Paul says to do. I need to excel in giving. Biola University offers a variety of biblically-centered degree programs, ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Visit biola.edu to find out how Biola could make a difference in your life.